So, um, Slumberger, like I told you, uh, came to Ghana in 2008 at the start of the um, exploration work and um, it's been a, a very wonderful experience to see how that has transitioned from early exploration to first oil um, in uh, less than 36, 36 months, three years, the first time it's happened in the world. But having said that, you know, when you accelerate um, like that, there are obviously certain uh, issues that come with it, right? So the number of wells started slowly to creep up. The people to meet that demand were not there. And so you had to accelerate and bring things and mobilize things from all over the world, which was uh, a significant challenge. But, you know, here we are, um, three years, um, four years down the road, uh, from the discoveries, I think they've made uh, the government has made a significant effort to provide the necessary uh, facilities for the industry to grow. Um, we do have a, a shore base, not as matured as it should be, but once again because of the speed of the development, um, we do have a shore base. We do have uh, the support of government. Uh, the Ghana National Petroleum Company, the Petroleum Commission, and the Ministry, um, all working together and coming towards uh, making the industry uh, a very matured one. Um, Prospect-wise, you know, um, we have today easily three, four sanctioned development projects. Um, Talo is already on the Jubilee, the 10 is coming up, uh, there is the Cosmos and, um, and E&I. Uh, following suite. So with those number of development, I think the, the future is very, very bright. It's not obvious. I, I don't know if we can go in to talk about um, how the uh, petroleum resources and the allocation happens, but I think I am aware that the government has taken delivery of their part of the Jubilee production right? Um, they have a formula how they share it and all of that. So I am not too aware of how much they get and how it is disbursed, but I believe that um, as we make progress, the initial target for the government was to be at uh, half a million barrels per day by 2015. Now that is going to be very significant um, when you have two, three FPSOs producing and possibly the gas project online. It will be a significant transformation um, for the gas to be used locally for energy generation and all of that. So I think it may not be visible right now, but in a couple of years that should be absolutely transparent and visible to the people. Um, as a company, Slumberger believes in operating uh, locally where they, they work. Um, it is not uncommon for us to have a target of 80% local content and we do that and 80% just because they want to consciously keep 20% to continue to drive the values of the company. So as a company, I mean, we just came off of um, a 2020 um, vision on the development plan for the company. Um, it is very obvious that uh, deep water is going to continue to play a big role in that development uh, phase. Um, it is clear that technology will be needed to meet some of the challenges. We also understand that we have to do business in a whole different way. Um, we cannot, for example, when I look at the West African business that I look after, we cannot afford to have a big footprint in every country. And therefore, we have to be, the, the region and Ghana gives us an opportunity to manifest what the company actually plans to do. So it's a key place to be. Um, in terms of having the challenges that the company is facing in terms of net utilization of assets, how we deploy the assets, how much returns we get, how we manage people effectively 
um, across the line. So the challenges for the company is very much represented here. And so we are going to be a pilot location to see how we, we execute this transition for the company as much as the other um, chosen locations as well.